All right, so I wanted to create another video for you here in the Black Biz community. And today I wanted to talk about product power. How powerful is your product? Like, think about like the value stack of, you know, what it is that you have to offer. And of course, there's different elements that are in the value stack, but today I wanted to talk about product power. What I'll probably do is I'll do another video talking about all the different elements in the value stack. But today we're talking about product product power. <laughs> All right. So let's get right into it. So what's, you know, when you're thinking about how powerful your product is, like you want to think about what's in it for them. And of course, them being the people who are ultimately going to be buying your product or service, right? So what's in it for them? And it's easy. Here's the thing. Here's a caveat. It's easy to get caught up with like how attached you are to it that you start to pour so much of yourself into like your coaching program, your product, your service, whatever it is that you offer that you tend to stray away from not actually thinking about what's truly in it for them. Remember, you're not buying what you're selling. Someone else is buying it, right? So you want to be able to actually create something that's going to um, be of value to the person who's going to buy it from you, but also you want to ensure that you are creating something that is like, it's actually going to like transform someone's life on a whole different level. Like you want to be able to stand out from, stand out from like everybody else in the marketplace and in your industry, right? So what you need to do is to, in order to be able to create a very powerful product is you want to take the most compelling parts of your product or service and make sure that you're communicate, communicating that very effectively and of course being able to deliver what you say you're delivering on, right? And the most compelling part, and here's, here's, a, here's a tip for you guys, the most compelling part of your product or service should be the thing that actually transforms someone's life or makes someone's life so much easier and really communicate it and communicate it from the, using the same language and the same words that the people who ultimately are gonna buy from you, how they would say it. So if it means that you need to do some research, you need to do some like, um, get some feedback from people, by all means. Like don't just sit down and, and, and think about all of this stuff yourself. Reach out to people um, that who would potentially buy your, your product or service and, and take notes of what the actual words they are using so that when you repeat it, whether in written or in verbal, it connects and it connects on an emotional layer, okay? And then this allows for you to really create something that, because you wanna make sure that you're creating something really powerful. You wanna be able to create something that it include it has some kind of inclusion of like community or affiliation or you know you really want to create something that not only serves someone right now but as they grow as a person as they grow in their business as they grow in their lives um that they you could grow with them so you're not just thinking about having that one transaction that one time all right so you want to ensure that you have that level of like community and it's important and one of the ways to really develop and to really um, connect with people in a, in a, for a level of community and to really have that like um, cohesion, it's really important that you demonstrate um, the value, but most importantly, that you're able to actually connect on an emotional layer because when you do that, it allows for you to set the tone for a continuous relationship and it's not just like, you know, like I said, the transactional layer where it's just like, you're focusing on, on, on getting the sale, but you're bonding and you're engaging in a dialogue and you're doing it consistently, right? And you have to, even when no one buys, you still have to do it. And that's what the thing that like a lot of people stay away from or they stray away from, like they try something once and it doesn't work. So then they're just, they're just throw their hands in the air and say, I'm not doing this anymore. So you want to ensure that you're doing it consistently. So you want to be engaging engaging, and you want to be providing valuable content, information, giving behind the scenes. You want to be bonding with people, not just like, you know, uh, just talking about the product, the product, the product, but you can always like demonstrate different aspects of the product as well. So you want to be able to like really create that level of community and um, an affiliation with the product because you want to also... Um, include like some storytelling as well. I'm going to probably, I'll probably do another video. That's a note for myself um, to do another video about storytelling and how to connect on a 
deeper emotional layer so that you can have that sense of community and tribe. So I hope this was valuable. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, you can reach out to me directly at chrisajennings.com and I will speak to you guys soon. Bye.